Hello everyone, welcome back again to my channel and for today's video, I'm going to show you how I convert my basketball court into vegetable gardening. But before, this is where we played basketball with my son, Sander, my friends, Michael, Gardner, Jamie, Roel, and also my nephews, John and Hussein. But at this time, no more playing basketball because it's already full of vegetable. But basketball is my number one sports. I love playing basketball. But because of the situation that we are facing now, I decided to convert it into vegetable gardening. But anyway, playing basketball and gardening is almost the same because in playing basketball, there's a lot of body movement also in gardening you need to bend dig watering there's also a lot of exercise in gardening so dear friends if you have a small space then convert it into gardening so let's get started okay so this is our broccoli look at my broccoli and it's ready to harvest see so if i were you my friend you can start planting broccoli because broccoli is a good source of fiber and protein and it contains of iron potassium calcium selenium and magnesium and the vitamins a c e k is a good array of b vitamins including folic acid so if I were you, my friend, start planting broccoli because there's a lot of health benefits. Also, the leaves are edible so you can cook this as well like your kale or any green. So, and the matured leaves, I give it also to our chickens. So if you have chickens, they love the leaves also. So let us move to my red cabbage. Look at my red cabbage. Look at the leaves. Soon I'm going to harvest that. I like red cabbage because this is also a rich in vitamin C, vitamin K, and a low calorie source of dietary fiber. Also, red cabbage is an antioxidant, so it's very healthy. And I have another batch of broccoli here. Also, the beets. Let me show you some beets. See here. And the next day, I'm going to harvest all of my beets. Let me show you. Wow. It's big, right? So, the following day, I'm going to harvest all of that. And let us move now to my dwarf beans or bush beans or in Philippines is Baguio beans. So this beans is rich in vitamins A, C, and K and they are a good source of folic acid and heart protective calcium and fiber. So this is all rich in vitamins like at this time that we are facing now we need a lot of vitamins to our body so start planting now even in container and look at my strawberry wow it's delicious juicy and sweet and do you know that strawberry is an excellent source of vitamin c also and manganese and also contain a decent amounts of folate vitamin b9 and potassium and strawberries are very rich in antioxidants and plant compounds and look at this strawberry the fruits are like flowers look at them it's very unusual different from them and i have a lot of growing strawberries in a cup so a lot of them are the runners of our strawberries and soon I'm going to transplant that once they are ready and look at my romaine lettuce 
that's great for salad and our celery there's a lot of health benefits as well from this celery and of course our tomato look at my tomato there's a lot of fruits and soon we are going to harvest that also and tomatoes are the major dietary source of the antioxidant lycopene and it will reduce the risk of heart disease and cancer and they know that this tomato is came only from tomato cuttings and i have a video of that and look at my cherry tomatoes wow and it's ready to harvest and as you can see there's a lot of fruits and soon i will make a video of this on how to take care of our cherry tomatoes for having like this there's a lot of fruits and look at them one two three four five and there's many more so and stay tuned because there's still a lot this is only the half of my vegetables that i have here in my basketball court and another cherry tomatoes look at them wow and on this side and also i have scallion or onion spring my sweet basil basil is good for our pasta and soon i will show you how to propagate from stem and also my carrots look at my carrots i have a lot of carrots that planted in container look at them it's growing healthy and after two days i'm going to harvest that also so watch out for this and look at them wow it's ready so if you love carrots then stay tuned also i have cauliflower look at my cauliflower my eggplant let me show you some of my eggplants and i have three varieties of this and this one is our philippine eggplant so i have seeds from philippines okay and then this one is the look at them there's another varieties of eggplants it's kind of big as huge and let me show you some of the big eggplants and also here i have my chinese cabbage in a gallon and i have a video of this and so amazing because look at them they are only planted in an empty gallons and now the gallons has a purpose so if you have a lot of gallons do not throw it instead make it as your planting container and at the left side of our basket ring is our pet chai or bok choy and look at them they are only planted in a small container and ready to harvest so there's a lot of way in producing a lot of vegetables in your yard in your backyard and look at this i'm just only using the styrofoam of the tv so be creative and i have a video of this on how i do it look at them so there's a lot of way in gardening and these are our potatoes look at them they are only also planted in containers so there's a lot of way and gardening like i've said so no need to go to the food store supermarket no need to spend money for the gas going to the food store or to the market no need to pay for the taxes so all you have to do is walk going to your backyard and collect some of your vegetables look at them and this one is our sweet pepper let me show you some of my sweet pepper look at them wow it's big it's a huge so soon i'm going to share also on how i grow this sweet pepper and let me show you some of the fruits wow look at them and do you know that how expensive they are in the food store or in the market and sweet peppers or bell peppers they are an excellent source of 
vitamin A, vitamin C, and potassium. So, include this to your vegetable garden list. Look at them. Wow. And there's a lot that growing. See this one? Wow. Thanks God for having this kind of vegetables that I have here in the garden or in the yard. And thank you for giving me an inspiration to think of a lot of things here in here in this property and let me show you some of my cauliflower look at them they are only in container and it's growing healthy and soon i will show you on how i planted this cauliflower in containers and look at that and also see as you can see my basketball ring but I miss this place when we are playing basketball but anyway soon and my sitao or long beans that planted in the bucket and I just want to give a shout out to our new subscribers and friends who visited my channel 